Minister for Squamalt Railroads. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Honourable Speaker, the Premier is currently at the First Minister's meeting with First Nations in Goose Bay, where Perry Bellegarde, the National Chief of the Assembly of First Nations, has called for action on the Truth and Reconciliation Commission report and the number of missing and murdered women, Aboriginal women and girls across the country. RCMP reports have shown that BC has the largest number of unsolved cases of missing and murdered Aboriginal women more than any other province. And yet today, along that highway, women are still in danger because they have to hitchhike to go get groceries, go to see their social worker, go to work and get back from work. Why is that? Well, because there is no transit system in their communities. So again, to this government, it makes no sense whatsoever about why is this government still refusing to put shuttle bus services in the communities along the Highway of Tears. Minister of Transportation Infrastructure. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. And uh, I, uh, I, I would like to say through you to the, the member opposite, uh, uh, if, you, if you ask the same question over and over again, you're going to get the same answer. Uh, this, this, this subject has been, has been canvassed, has been canvassed uh, here in, in the chamber on numerous occasions. It was canvassed in estimates uh, as well. Um, Obviously, obviously, Honourable Speaker, uh, our, our government remains committed to, uh, to, to fulfilling uh, the recommendation, uh, which was to uh, provide uh, safer transportation options uh, for those who live along uh, Highway 16. And uh, to, that, uh, to that end, last, uh, last summer, uh, Honourable Speaker, we, uh, we had uh, staff from our ministry uh, spend uh, several weeks uh, uh, meeting with uh, First Nations leaders, uh, local governments and other, other organizations. There was a very good exchange of ideas. And, Honourable Speaker, as I have said to the member opposite. Members. Uh, Honourable Speaker, the, 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 uh, the information that the members requested on this was, was, duly, provided, was duly provided to them. Uh, at the end of the day, we, we, we have acted on a number of fronts. Uh, there is a new web portal which has pulled together all of the, uh, the transportation resources which are available uh, through the region. We provided $75,000 to the carrier Sakani uh, for, for driver education and licensing and, and so forth. And the dialogue continues. We will, do, we will continue to do everything we can to make that uh, corridor even safer. Squamal Royal Roads on a supplemental. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. Well, the Minister is right. We do continue to get the same answer. And the same answer says that women are not safe on this highway and they will not be safe until this government changes their position on this issue. Speaker, Perry Bellegarde has said that the issue of missing and murdered women will be front and center in their conference, and it has been. They have today passed all 94 recommendations on that. He also said that the National Truth and Reconciliation Commission report released this month will not gather dust. Well, very ironically, Madam Speaker, in 2012, in response to the Wally Opa report, the Premier of this province agreed with that sentiment and spoke about the vulnerability of people up and down Highway 16 and said, we must make sure that we have a champion for the report so that it doesn't just sit and be forgotten. Well, it has been forgotten. It continues to be forgotten and ignored by this government. The most urgent recommendation was to put a transit system along that corridor. So will this government live up to the lofty words of the Premier in 2012 and put a shuttle bus service into the communities along the Highway of Tears so we do not see further tragedies. Will it take another death before they take action? Mr. Transportation Infrastructure. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. Uh, Honourable Speaker, th this highway corridor is significantly safer today than it was 15 years ago. And that's uh, as a result of a tremendous number of, uh, of, of initiatives of this government, as well as communities and First Nations up and down uh, Highway 16. Uh, there is transit service connecting a number of communities like Smithers and Telqua, the Hazeltons and Smithers, uh, Terrace and Kitimat, Prince uh, Rupert and Port Edward. Uh, there's a Northern Health, Health Bus service. Cellular coverage has been dramatically improved. 
Uh, and, uh, and as I mentioned uh, previously, Honorable Speaker, uh, we, uh, we have implemented a, a web portal and, and we, are, uh, we are continuing to discuss further uh, ideas uh, that, uh, that folks along this corridor have. But I will, I will, I will uh, end on this note, Honorable Speaker. Um, if the Honourable Member uh, would like to share details with us as to, as to how she thinks it would be practical to provide a shuttle service along a 718 kilometer stretch of highway that requires about eight hours from one end to the other, how that would be practical, I am, I am, I am all ears.